what is up guys appreciate you guys tuning in to this today's video um this is going to be part i don't know three of this rta build um i'm going to uh give you guys a little snippets of what's been going on um it's been hard to uh record in the last couple of months i know you guys have been you know subscribing and wanting to see future videos of what's going on of my rx8 and it's running uh she's running fine perfect uh cold start hot start uh everything you can think of um i will be posting more videos in the future um because of what's i have to do to the car um but let's go ahead and i'll show you guys how she runs and idles in a little bit uh, but don't bash me. I I do have the Shonen Shon, Shonen kit uh, adapter, so it is it is feeding premix into the engine, and I also premixed some gas <laughs> into the engine, so it's gonna be smoking a lot. But I, I just wasn't sure um, how much oil to put in. I didn't want to mess up the engine, of course. So I might have overdosed oh, oh, overdosed on the on the premix. Uh, so just in case you guys are wondering why it's smoking so much, um, but it sounds really nice um, and we'll go ahead and get to that right now. Uh, so just to let you guys know, um, I I work full time, um, so it's kind of hard for me to post videos on a weekly basis, even on a monthly basis because I'm in and out of town. I don't work from home most of the time. Um, so I wanted to post this video because I wanted people not to doubt, like, hey, um, you know, like, oh, he's not posting any videos. He must his engine must have blew. Or something happened. No, no, my engine's perfectly fine, as you guys just saw. Uh, everything's running really good um the only problem i've had which you'll see in the next video of it just idling um it idles a little low um so the check engine the check engine light is on and it'll throw a code a code saying like um, i don't know it specifically but it'll say something about something along the lines of idling is a little off or it's a little something just not obviously right because obviously the engine doesn't know that it's ported or the i should say the um the computer doesn't know it's ported um but unfortunately as i've driven the car um it feels pretty good it feels really strong on the streets uh i've been i noticed that i'm probably and i didn't want to go but i'm gonna have to go with an aftermarket ecu which i mean we're looking at anywhere from if I'm lucky, a thousand to two thousand dollars, and obviously getting it tuned, uh, which sucks because I really wanted to run this car on a stock ECU, and that was the whole point of this video too, get you uh, to be able to see if it'll run on a stock ECU. Uh, but maybe if it wasn't ported, it could. To be honest with you guys, if it wasn't ported, it'd probably run better on a stock ECU. Uh, but unfortunately, we went the route with porting it because so much intake. You know the exhaust needs to flow with it too um so i'll go ahead and skip to that right now so you guys can watch it just on idle and you guys can see that it dips pretty much low below the 1000 rpms
as you see, I saw that, you know, the, the idle's a little wonky. Um, and I kind of want to get it above idle of around 1500. I've seen that a lot of people, even with ported engines like RX-7, just even the REW RX-7 engines, people who have it ported usually try to have it idling above 1500 RPMs. And I'm sure some of you guys will be like, oh no, that's it's too high, it's too high. I've seen other YouTube videos where they've done it. So if they have it there, maybe I should have it there as well. Only because when I did drive it, now if you guys want me to, if you guys want a video of me driving it, I'll post it. Um, I'll go ahead and try and make a video for you guys. It's a little messy in the car, so I couldn't really have someone just tag along and, and record with me. So I kind of just went by myself, recorded, uh, or just drove, and just to make sure she ran perfectly, which it felt good, felt strong, it felt like an RX-8 should. Um, but it was a little weird though, getting adjusted to the brap, brap, like just when you're on idle, like slowing down, you're kind of, your engine's kind of just like tugging along with the, with the engine. Uh, but I did notice that when I push, when I push the clutch in, it just dies on me um, at moments. So I know that I have to get that idle a little bit higher just because of that reason specifically. And um, did a little bit of research and stuff like that. So it's unfortunate, but I, I, even if I do get the ECU, an aftermarket ECU, uh, I will try to just adjust small things. Um, so it's not like, oh, I had to, do this i had to do that to you know i just want it even though i had to unfortunately go with an aftermarket ecu um i don't want to change too much of what the stock ecu already does you know um now i did get the stock ecu tuned uh by a racing beat uh they offer a package if you do port your engine and um they were able to increase the uh pump the oil pump, um, like let it, I think it's supposed to pump a lot faster. Um, they have different, like three stages. It's like one stage, two stage, three, depending on what you've done to the car. So if you ported it, you put an exhaust, you put an intake, uh, which obviously this car has a full exhaust from the cat all the way down. It, it doesn't even have cat actually, uh, but it doesn't, it doesn't throw a check engine light for it. So um, not worried about that. But anyways, it doesn't have a cat. Um, so uh, obviously I have it bridge ported and street ported and i also have it um the tune also comes with a uh, fan that turns on the coolant a lot sooner uh, so your car you know doesn't get if it starts getting a little too hot it'll turn on the fans a lot sooner and i'm trying to think what it's all oh, the rpms uh are basically unlocked so you can hit the 10 if you want um, i think factory you can only hit nine if I'm not mistaken, I, I don't know, but that's, you know, the racing beat offered that they, they can go up to like nine, five or 10, something like that, uh, which obviously the engine does, which is beautiful. But um, I haven't really pushed it to that extreme when I was driving it, because I don't have any plates on it, obviously, and I don't have it registered. So um, I just went up down the street. But if you, it, it, like, like I said, if you guys want to see a video where I'm just driving up the street, and going around the block so you can just hear it, um, see it actually in motion I will I, I'd be willing to do that um, but I don't know how long that'll be before I do post a video but uh, I appreciate you guys tuning in I really do appreciate you guys subscribing and uh, keeping updates with me and uh, commenting uh, comments always encourage me to keep on um, building it uh, and continue these videos because I obviously do my own editing and I do my own recording um, so when I'm working on the car, um, I don't like to just have you guys look at me while I'm fixing it necessarily. I'll just tell you what's wrong and then I fixed it. Like the clutch was bad on it. Um, it wasn't engaging. So I had to bleed it, put new lines in, bleed the clutch. So now she's driving. Before she wasn't driving, now she's driving. So a little bit more confident in um, putting her on the road. Obviously, like I said, she doesn't idle. Um, run where i wanted to idle uh but that's obviously you know aftermarket stuff so uh we'll get there once i get a video um of it running if you guys want to see just comment below you know thumbs up or something like that thumbs up this video um then i'll go ahead and post something else and uh that way you guys see you can see it running but uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please subscribe like and uh wait for the next one and i'll see you guys soon so